Martini purists insist that the salt and pepper martini isn't a martini at all. But does that matter? Taste is what matters. Call it what you want, this is a refreshingly good drink. I found this little gem of a drink in Dale DeGroff's book, The Craft of the Cocktail. As to where the pepper comes into play, I'm not sure. Nowhere listed in this recipe is pepper. Yeah, I mean, you can't make a, a salt and pepper martini without pepper, can you? It'd just be a salt martini. I think maybe the combination of the grapefruit and bitters might give the drink a somewhat peppery quality. I have come across this cocktail before, made with absolute papar vodka. Papar? Pepper. Papar? <laughs> pepper. Absolute pepper vodka and dry vermouth. But this version is much more tantalizing on your palate. Let's make one. The recipe calls for you to rim your glass in uh, sea salts. So we're just gonna pop some sea salt here. And like I said, nowhere in the recipe is called for black pepper, but I'm gonna use some, uh, well, multi peppers. I've got some white, green, pink, and of course, black peppercorns. The green peppercorns are picked immature. I guess that's why they're green. They have a fresher flavor and are less pungent. The white peppercorns have their outer layer rubbed off. They pack some heat, but aren't quite as aromatic as black. The pink peppercorns are more acidic and slightly sweeter than black. The black ones are the strongest in flavor. And I'm gonna add that to the lip of the glass too. Look at that. How wonderfully uh, colorful is that? Beautiful. Nice. Okay. And we're just gonna grab our glass out of the freezer here. Yeah. And uh, what we're gonna do is grab a little lemon here. And we're just gonna uh, carve a little wedge here so that we can scour our lip of the glass here and dip it in this wonderful mixture. Now the thing is too, you gotta pay real close attention. You do not want any of the salt or pepper mixture on the inside of your glass. That'll just make your drink salty and peppery. Beauty, looking nice. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop this back into the freezer now that our glass is prepped. Let's make a cocktail. We start with some gin. Uh, London Dry. Hey, good old Boodles, my friend Boodles. <laughs> A good friend Boodles. Now, you could use vodka, and vodka would totally work in this cocktail, but I do love the botanicals of gin. Uh, two ounces. The recipe itself only called for an ounce and a half, and I just uh, bumped it up. I just thought it needed it. <laughs> Lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce. Right there. And grapefruit, fresh grapefruit. And we want three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit. Oh yeah, that's about there now, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think I'll measure this one. It's kind of weird to pour from here. Simple syrup, one ounce. Yeah. Angostura bitters, two dashes. Yeah, look at that. Beauty. All right, filler full of ice. And shake it. 
<laughs> like a salt and pepper shaker? <laughs> Give it a good shake, come on. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Grab our frozen glass from the freezer here and uh, double strain it out. It's as simple as that. Oh yeah, look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Nice. And one little other change that I thought I'd try and it totally works is I made some uh, uh, pepper-infused simple syrup. And we're gonna go with like four drops. Eh, five. <laughs> Sweet. Isn't that a lovely color? <laughs> the salt and pepper martini. Let's give it a try. Oh. That is delightful. You know, this reminds me of a salty dog, yet it's more complex. It's fruity, sour, sweet, and salty. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more? The grapefruit and lemon add a sour punch that the salt controls quite nicely. The gin and syrup seem to pull everything together. It may not be a martini, but it's delicious. <laughs> really, it is. Mm. Cheers. And uh, what we're gonna do is grab a little lemon here. And uh, where's my knife? <laughs> and we're just gonna uh, carve a little wedge here. Partial funding for Bar Talk and Cocktails is provided by Patreon. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to lots of extra stuff. Behind the scenes videos, podcasts, newsletters, some of my own personally created cocktails, and much, much more. Become one of my patrons today and help keep us going. Thanks in advance. Cheers. Hmm. You gotta make one. The salt and pepper martini. Don't be salty. Be peppy. Peppy? <laughs> peppy Le Pew. <laughs> be peppery. Hit the subscribe button, check some other videos out, and make the salt and pepper martini. It really is a delight. I'm liking it. Cheers.